everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and today I'm just going to be running through a quick guide on how to overclock your AMD Ryzen second generation processor and specifically the Ryzen 5 2600. Uh, this is a non-X edition uh, second generation Ryzen CPU and uh, it's one of the ones that you'll definitely want to consider overclocking because it has slightly lower frequencies and slightly lower power consumption out of the box, um, lower performance as well but they are very overclockable, you can um, quite easily get them uh, or at least the samples that I've got quite easily get to well over four gigahertz and um, that basically means that you're going to get be getting lots and lots of free performance and uh, I've had my Ryzen 5 2600 up to 4.1 gigahertz which is nearly as fast as the Ryzen 5 2600X I have as well so yes, you're basically getting something for nothing here which is uh, definitely recommended so as you can see I've got Ryzen Master which is AMD's overclocking software it's really easy to, to use and really easy to overclock your CPU it's perfectly safe as well and uh, what I'll be doing here is just aiming for 4.1 gigahertz which I know is uh, easily uh, attainable on my uh, on my specific sample if it isn't on yours if you can't go quite as high with the voltage that I'll be using all that will happen is your system might freeze or come up with an error you just need to restart and then Ryzen Master will detect that and it won't apply it the next time you go in so there's not it's not you're not, you're not damaging your PC using the voltages that I'll be doing it's just simply just asking it to do to do a bit too much with the voltage so if you run into any trouble just restart your PC is absolutely fine so first up then is to go down to the bottom here and select either of the other two profile options or profile tabs should I say and um, what this will do is bring up a load of overclocking controls we don't want to uh, tw uh, tweak any frequencies just yet what we want to do is click apply and test up the top here and what that does it will just put the uh, the CPU under a little bit of load well a little bit quite a lot of load and uh, just to mimic you know like a, uh, um, a big stress test or something like that just for a, a minute or so and uh, as you can see here the CPU temperature has kind of got to about 50 degrees it's pretty much leveled off there which is absolutely fine I'm just using a single uh, 120 millimeter radiator all-in-one liquid cooler so nothing particularly potent um, but as you can see you know there's plenty of room for uh, some overclocking headroom in there so we'll just wait for that test to finish there we go and to set the frequency what we need to do is to go over here to manual on the over on the right hand side and that will give you the core control so what you want to do now is click all cores and then we want to just increase that if you can hold that down to do it. No. Okay, so lots of clicking involved. Um, I have tried sort of moving the slider bars, but it tends to be a bit insensitive sometimes. Um, so, um, or unresponsive, should I say. So, we're now up to 4.1 gigahertz, but we don't want to click apply yet because we need to increase the voltage as well. Now, for the, uh, the maximum uh, everyday voltage that I tend to use with Ryzen CPUs is 1.425 volts. Um, AMD, AMD has said that 1.45 volts is too much for an everyday overclock. It should only be used for uh, temporary benchmarking. So for me, I think uh, 1.425 is absolutely fine for an everyday overclock. So uh, you may well be able to use less. Um, I'll leave that up to you with your with your stress testing. But for you know a 100, you know a pretty much 100% guaranteed overclock here. Um, I'm using 1.45 volts and a 4.1 gigahertz across all six cores of the Ryzen 5 2600X. Sorry, Ryzen 5 2600, not the 2600X, but I use the same voltage on that as well. So what we'll do now is we'll do apply and test again, just to double check that um, temperatures and stability is uh, pretty much where it should be. So clicking on that, um, you'll immediately see that the, uh, the temperature is around 10 degrees uh, immediately to start with, uh, warmer than we were before. It's already up to 67, uh, climbing up to 68 now. It's still perfectly fine. Um, you might want to rein things in if it's starting to push 80 degrees. Um, but anything you know below 70 degrees, which is what I've got here, is uh, is absolutely fine. So it looks like it's pretty much leveling off at about 69 degrees. Um, if I leave it for another 10 minutes or so, it'll probably reach. 70 degrees or thereabouts but that seems absolutely fine and um, of course now you want to you'll want to run your own stress tests so uh, if you want to play some games if you want to run a prime 95 something like that um, then you know it's uh, it's purely up to you how you want to stress test but I've already done this stress testing in the system so I don't really need to do it but that's how easy it is you literally just plumb in the voltage 1.45 volts increase the uh, the cores on uh, this one here after clicking all cores so it applies your frequency across all six cores or however many cores your Ryzen CPU has and that is it um, it's really really easy to do and it's definitely worth it on the non-X edition 
uh, Ryzen processors. It's worth on all of them, but particularly on the non X edition ones like the Ryzen 5 2600 because they do run at much lower clock speeds uh, out of the box and they're cheaper, of course. Um, so that is pretty much it. So if you've got any questions about overclocking your Ryzen CPU, uh, drop me a like, drop me a message in the comments on YouTube, and um, otherwise, obviously feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, thanks for watching.